I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponential function. And let me give special thanks to the subscribers who have been asking for this video on concepts of irrational number e and its significance in finding the derivative of exponential functions. So I hope with the help of this video, I can do some justice to this requirement. So we'll consider derivative of exponential function in general, f of x equals to b to the power of x, right? So we'll talk about the function f of x equals to b to the power of x, where b has to be greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1, okay? So that is the function we are talking about. Now, using our basic definition of derivatives, we can find uh, the derivative of this function. So let me use uh, basic definition to find derivative, which is f dash x, correct? So what is f dash x equal to? f dash x is equals to limit of the function, which is difference quotient, which you learned, right? So it is limit h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? So that is the definition of finding tangent at any point or derivative of a function at any point x, right? Now, the function is b to the power of x, so I'll replace this function with b to the power of x. So we get limit h approaches 0, b to the power of x plus h, right? Minus b to the power of x over h. Now, using the properties of exponents, how can we write b to the power of x plus h as a product, right? So it could be written as b to the power of x times b to the power of h minus b to the power of x over h. Now we can take b to the power of x common. So what do we get? We get limit h approaches 0, b to the power of x is common. And here we get b to the power of h minus 1 over h. Now as you can see in this particular expression, b to the power of x is independent of h, right? Since it is independent of h, I could write it outside and so what we get here is b to the power of x limit h approaches 0 for this particular function which is extremely important b to the power of h minus 1 over h. So I hope this up to here things are absolutely clear. So what do we get here really is let's rewrite. So from the first principle or from basic definition derivative of any exponential function, any exponential function could be written as b to the power of x times limit h approaches 0 for b to the power of h minus 1 over h. This is the limit. Now we can use calculator and find limit of different functions, right? So what we will do here is that we'll try to make a kind of table and find the values. Normally, when we are approaching zero, we'll approach zero from both the sides. That is to say, uh, let's say x is zero here. So we are trying to approach from both left side and from the right side. So we could come very, very close to this value. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to use the value of h as 0 0.001, which is fairly small. Right, so, so I'll use this value and I say, well, h approaches 0 means this for me, correct? So I'll take different values of x and find or calculate using a calculator. That's, that's what the idea is. So we are just calculating the value of this part, which is, let me highlight it. Let me highlight it using some different color, which has not been used here. So let's use this color. So I'm actually trying to figure out this part. So we are calculating this part for h equals to 0 0.001. Is that clear? 
okay so let me write like this here so for different values of x let us say uh, we'll take different values of b we'll find b to the power of h is 0 0.001 minus 1 over 0 0.001 this is what we are going to calculate is that clear we are saying 0 0.001 is extremely close to 0 so that gives you the limit of this function right so this as a whole as a whole it gives you the limit of this function so that is what it will give you perfect okay so let's take the calculator start with a value we will go with values positive more than one so let's take a value let's say two so if i write two here what do i get so let me put brackets two to the power of 0 0.001 okay so that is 0 0.001 Take away 1, bracket close, divided by 0 0.001. That gives me a value which is 0 0.6933. Correct? Now let's take a value which is 3. So if I replace 2 by 3, then what do I get? Same calculation. We'll just replace 2 by 3 and calculate. So for 3, we get 1.0. 992 right what do you observe here we observe that for these functions if I have to find the derivative so let me extend this for exponential functions if I have to find the derivative then it is equal to the function itself b to the power of x times this factor right times this factor since that is the limiting factor uh, so times this factor so we can say uh, call this let me write here limit h approaches 0 of b to the power of h minus 1 over h so that is what it is and we just calculated this factor as 0 0.693342 so that means that the derivative for x equals to 2 is 2 to the power of x, b is 2, right? So it's 2 to the power of x times 0 0.693. Is that okay? For 3, it is 3 to the power of x times 1.0992. So what you observe here is that we are multiplying by a factor, the original function, and this factor is either less than 1 or greater than 1. If I take values as 2 or 3, it really gives us that there should be something in between. There should be something in between where we get this factor as 1. You get an idea, right? So, so what we are looking for, we are looking for a number uh, okay, so we are looking for a number for which the limit h approaches 0. That number to the power of h minus 1 over h is equal to 1. So we are looking for that value of b. So this value of b is indeed e. That is what it is. So, so we by experimenting, we've just figured out that this number e is such a number that e to the power of x derivative of its own function so this factor the limit b to the power of h minus 1 over h is 1 for e perfect so if you substitute e here then calculate then you get 1.00 that's what it is so from this particular exercise we understand that if we want if the function is e to the power of x then its derivative is also e to the power of x now this is extremely important to understand derivatives of exponential functions since it gives you a particular idea that tangent at any point slope of tangent at any point for e to the power of x will be same as the value of the function you get an idea so that is what it is. 
So at x equals to 0, slope is going to be 1. At x equals to 0, slope is going to be 1. So I hope that really helps you to understand that there is a number which may be an irrational number. We really don't know exactly what that number is. But to uh, we could we have this number as e equals to you can say 2.718 for most of your calculations. Is it okay? To, or you can say 22 over 7. Oh, that's pi. Sorry. So it is e is 2.718 for most of the calculations. You could use this number. If I replace b by 2.718, then what do we get? Let me figure this out, show it to you. So if I use 2.718 to the power of, we'll use this 0 0.001, right? 0 0.001 minus 1. Since I didn't put the bracket, I'll find this equal to, and then we'll divide by 0 0.001, correct? You get 1.000039, but it is 1.30. Do you see that? This is because we took an approximate value correct to three decimal places for E. So if you go for more places, you'll get 1.0000 and so on, correct? So that is the significance of number E, right? So I hope this concept is clear. So if I have a graph of E to the power of X, then slope at any point, let's say this point is, let us say, x value of this point is p, then e to the power of p will be the slope of this function at this point. So here the slope m will be e to the power of p. Do you get an idea, right? So slope of this function is e to the power of p. So that is how we can actually uh, understand this number. And uh, let this be the base for our exponential functions. So let me summarize. What we learned in this video is that for any exponential function, f of x equals to b to the power of x, the derivative will be b to the power of x times limit h approaches 0 for b to the power of h minus 1 over h. Now, if b is 2, this, multi this factor is less than 1. If b is 3, this factor, the limiting factor, is more than 1. E is such an irrational number whose value provides you with this limiting factor as exactly 1. So derivative of e to the power of x is same as its value at that value of x. So the derivative of e to the power of x is e to the power of x. So I hope the concept is clear. With this, let's move on and solve some questions related to exponential functions. I hope you understand and appreciate the whole concept. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.